All right, this is a little bit interesting, but okay. So this is um, Google Maps, but anyway. Uh, so here's Norala Junction, and you can actually see the old alignment prior to that. I mean, Norala. I mean, the ro the railroad used to go that way straight into downtown Tuscumbia, but that's no longer there. There's Norala Junction. So here's the entrance to Sheffield Yard. There's all the AED tracks. On the west end, the hump yard, which if I remember correctly, I'm sure, pretty sure they're actually taking the hump operations out and just making this a flat yard because um, of you know precision railroading and everything. But in the last little thing I was talking about, here's the the spur coming off the west, uh, excuse me, the east end of Sheffield Yard that I was talking about. So it kicks kicks off there, runs up through the country. Um, just kind of out in the middle of nowhere. You can see it just kind of rolling along, rolling along, rolling along. Um, it's the approach end to the airport, which would be a neat, you know, scenic feature at that point. It takes a little zig and then crosses the road here and then starts getting just here's, just takes another, just through the woods. And then, okay, here's a little first little cutoff. So first little cutoff comes over here zigs around this, this yard, comes through this way, hits this marshalling yard, which you, know, you can see even to this date is a really, really busy. And then comes up here to Occidental Chemical. Um, here. So, so back down to the you know, junction. You know, the spur continues north. And here is one of the, you know, the, the big industries. So here's the aluminum plant. It is, um, it was Alcoa during World War II. Um, still a massive, massive facility. You can still see all the stuff out here where it used to be, but again, it's a trailing point move into, the, into Alcoa here. And here comes the rail line up. There's the, there's the spur off of it here. It comes off. See multiple tracks, switch cars. This one came down this way into the older part of the plant over here, which is now gone. But then the newer, you know, the rest of the plant still gets a large amount of rail traffic. Um, but again, you know, massive, massive aluminum smelting operation there. Um, was put in place during, uh, again, during World War II because uh, the, the cheap electricity um, available from the dam at uh, Wilson Dam and TVA. So here's another um, part of the facility. Somebody has labeled this element 13. I have no idea what that means off the top of my head. But again, rail served at some point um, on both ends. So there's you know track coming in this way, track coming in over here, going that way. Um, line again, again comes around, goes, continues north, um, crosses this road, and then on into this plant here, which was still part of the Alcoa facility. And the line actually continued down this way and had a dock on the Tennessee River. Still see the remnants of it here. So, so barge traffic, there's the, you know, the railroad came down, down this way, down this way, down this way, through this little channel, and down to the river where there was a, some sort of loading facility for barges here off the Tennessee River. And the reason this entire facility is here is because of the Wilson Dam facility here now the other really interesting thing here is uh, TVA uh, TVA Tennessee Valley Authority had this was the um, fertilizer plant which during World War II was um, produced nitrates for explosives and as a kid um, the rail line comes, this rail line is, is where, you know, comes in from the west end of Sheffield or here.
here. It's the model portion here. It's the, you know, this is those tracks. This is, you know, the multiple tracks coming down this way where the coal train sits. And, you know, this is the L and N interchange here, but that line used to run as, as well as to, you know, ran down here, ran down here, ran down following right through here, along here to here, which is the old railroad, I was, old railroad bridge to, and there used to be a lift, massive lift section right there. And that's where it you know, went across the river into Florence, where it, you know, went to the LNN. Uh, but it also had that branch off um, here into TBA, which was this massive facility here. So um, lots of different things could happen with that, you know, facilities there in, in on the eastern side, off the, off of the, so just a little ideas floating around in my head.